difficult. What I'm telling you is God is there. And God will take care of you. Amen. God will provide. God will uh, um, do what God said that he would do. This is Christ speaking. And all I can tell you is what he told. What he said. And remember who it is that said. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. Then all these things. Will be added unto you. That's what Jesus said. That's not what I said. That's not what I made up. That's, right. That's the message God gave me this morning. For a reason. He wants us to remember that. He wants us to know that. When it gets difficult. Uh, when it looks tight. When you don't know where it's coming from. He wants you to remember this. Before it gets into these scriptures that I started with. It talked about a man who had a lot. He had abundance more than he knew what to do with but the Lord told him tonight your soul shall be required of you and he died then what happened to those things this everything here is fleeting it's passing and we destroy our 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 families we destroy our health we destroy everything in pursuit of these things. And I'm not saying that anybody here is pursuing wealth. And, and like the man that's in this parable that Christ told. But even just pursuing the things of this life. We destroy our peace. We destroy our joy. We destroy uh, the, the things that God wants us to have. Because we're so wrapped up in that stuff. Our minds are so filled up with that stuff. Uh, that we're miserable. That's not how God wants us to live. He said, here's, back where I read in Jeremiah, I said, here's the thoughts I think to you of peace. I'm thinking, I want you to have peace. That's what God wants for you. We destroy the peace that God wants to give to us. As we go forward from this point in time, I can't tell you what's going to happen. I say a lot what I think is going to happen. But regardless of what happens, just remember, God is there. God cares about you. God made promises to you. But in order to obtain those promises, you've got to do your part. You've got to do what he said to do. We are so wrapped up in the things of this life that we don't give God uh, our hearts, we don't give God our time, we don't give God our minds, because they're all wrapped up in the things of this life. That's right. It's coming to a time where the only way, and I'm not just talking about filling your cupboard or your gas tank or heating your home, but it's coming to a time where the only way you're going to survive is God. It's coming to a time where the only way uh, that you're going to be able uh, to exist in a, in a manner that's not, I, I don't even know what word I'm looking for, but to exist with a peace in your heart and, and a, a smile on your face and a hope. Uh, the only way you're going to be able to do that is through God. But the only way that we're going to be able to do that through God is by giving ourselves wholly over to the pursuit of God. Not pursuing God an hour and a half on Sunday morning. That's right. Not pursuing God when I got a problem I need fixed. But wholly given over to that. I, I don't 
I don't know that I got this out in the way that I should have got this out. But here's the bottom line. Unless we're willing to give ourselves to God, I mean give ourselves to God. God's not obligated to do anything for you. That's right. That's right. If we're not wholly devoted, if our hearts aren't wholly devoted, and our mind and our time and, and everything about us is not wholly devoted to God, He may just leave us on our own. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying He will. But he may. We have gotten to a point, especially in this country, where proof of God to me is things. Mm -hmm. Proof of God to me is uh, financial security. Proof of God to me is uh, other than what the Bible says it is. The proof of God is peace and joy and hope and confidence regardless of situation, regardless of circumstance, regardless of problem. That's what it is. But we have, we have forgotten that and we have walked away from that. And if we don't get back to it, I fear that when things do get bad, we're going to be in a world of hurt. We're going to be in a lot of trouble. But I, I just want to say this and I'm going to be finished. The message that God has given me, and I, I don't know that I brought it out the way I should have brought it out, but this is the message. Trust God. Depend on God. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Give yourself to God, and God will give himself to you. Things are going to be bad. Things are going to be rough. But God is still there. Amen. Trust him, believe him, depend on him. That, that's really the message. And I said, I believe that in the next year, more, whatever, there will be those of us who have to struggle to get by, to pay the, the heating bill, to fill the gas tank, whatever it is. <coughs> but I do believe that God wants us to know He ain't going anywhere. Amen. He will be there. Amen.